Hey guys, it's Male Perman here from Mundambide Kenakala High School. I need help with probability, so here is the question paper. The letters of the word decimal are randomly arranged. Now, the first thing I need to try and make sure here is how many do I have? So I have one, uh, two, this is three, four, five, six, and seven. So in total, I will then say n is equal to seven. This n is equal to seven, please. n does not symbolize anything other than number of letters. So don't, don't really think too deep about it. And then how many different arrangements are possible if, remember what I said to you, I said there's two things that you need to make sure. You need to make sure that um, you check whether there's repetition or there is no repetition. You guys understand? So that's what you first need to try and do before you can continue with anything. So here they are saying, uh, if you look at the question, the question says, how many different arrangements are possible if alphabets or letters may be repeated? So I've got seven of them. So the letter D, I will say D here, I can use D seven times, right? Letter E, I can use E seven times as well. Letter C, I can use it as well seven times. Letter I, I can use it seven times as well. Um, and letter M, I can also use it seven times. And then A, I can use it seven times. And then the last one will then be L, which I can also use it seven times. So if I multiply one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so it will be seven multiplied by seven times seven times seven times seven. So one, two, three, four, five times seven times seven. Now remember what I said when I started here. I said to you, when we're dealing with repeated, we normally use exponential. So here I was just trying to show you how we get to the exponential part. Now let me show you what the exponential part of it will then be. Since I have seven servers that are multiplying by themselves, I will then say this is the same as seven to the exponent of seven, and then I find what my answer is. So that will be how many arrangements or combinations I can have uh, if my alphabets are repeated. So that will then be eight, two, three, five, four, three. 8, 2, 3, 5, 4, 3. And then, let's see, 5, 4, 3, yes. So this is how many arrangements I can have if I'm repeating my letters. And then the second one will say, if letters are not repeated now. If the letters are not repeated, then let's also break it down for you to understand it, how to go about it. This I can use it seven times. However, since I've already used one letter, I'm now I'm only left with now six of them. So this can be placed at six positions. And then uh, with my C will then also be uh, five because I've now used two of them. Then um, my I will then also be placed at four positions. My M will be uh, placed at three uh, positions. My A will be placed at two positions and my L will then be placed at one position. So this will then be seven multiplied by six times five times four times three times two times so on. In simple terms, this is the same as seven factorial because seven factorial means you are multiplying the seven by the number less than it until you get to the minimum number, which is the one right now. So seven factorial then will then be, remember I said I'm gonna show you where we, you find it. So firstly you press your seven, then you press your shift. Then just under the mode setup there with any calculator except, so please, right now I'm using the case, your name, and you know there's this one, there's that calculator. So this calculator, I'm, I'm not quite too sure where the, the, what's this, the factorial button is, but I know it's there, so, so just look for, on top of the button, there must be an exclamation of some sort that represents a factorial. So it will then be just below mode setup, and then I find my answer, which will then be 5040. So this will then be 5040. And then this will be how many arrangements I have if I'm not repeating any letters.
Now, the last question for this will be the arrangement must start with a vowel and end in a consonant and no repetition of letters is allowed. Um, the to to some time, the, for a second, my English ran away from me because now I was thinking to myself, what are vowels? But I remembered when I was in grade one, they said A, E, E, O, U. So it means I'm looking for A, I'm looking for um, e, a, I, I'm looking for E, I'm looking for O, I'm looking for U. Those are my, uh, what do you call that, my vowels. And then any other letter will then be called a consonant in this instance. So that's one thing that I, I then remembered. So I have, um, in the word, let me write it down quickly, decimal. I have one, two, three um, vowels. So I have three that I can use here, then multiply by, then at the end, multiply by, I have one, two, three, four. So I have four that I can use at the end to place them there, right? And no repetition of letters is allowed. So I can only use them, uh, place them here three times, like the first one, the second one, or the third one. But I can't repeat anything. So that's why I'm just going to leave it as three. I'm going to leave it as four there. But in between here, because now I've secured this, the last spot and the first spot, I'm now left with five spaces. So I'm left with five, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm left with five spaces. It means here, this can only be placed at five spaces. This can be placed at four spaces because already the fifth one is accommodated. This one can be placed at three spots because two have already been accommodated. Then this two, then that only one because now it means all of them are accommodated. So in simple terms, this is three multiplied by five factorial multiplied by four, which will then be equal to, so, so this is what I'm going to have. I'm going to have three multiplied by five uh, my factorial there multiplied by four, which will be one four four zero. One four four zero.